Hello, and welcome to another Imaginic Tech Tip. My name is Leo Bavayan, Civil Specialist with Imaginic. In this video, we will show how to adjust pipe flow directions. More than that, we'll see how these pipe flow directions affect our invert labels and play a key role on how pipes even behave. We're going to really deal with the pipe properties there and look at that pipe flow direction method and also how uh, the, the values underneath it, the inverts, are, are changed and how that can affect how the civil 3D uh, results in, in, uh, on screen. I don't have much of a PowerPoint here. Let's just jump right into civil 3D. I'll switch the screens over here. And in this case, we have uh, this manhole one coming to the junction box over here. This pipe that sits right here, this 12 inch pipe, this is the one where we're gonna be working with. If I look at it, I can go into my pipe properties and see how it's flowing. It currently has a start to end direction. As you can see the arrowhead that's being added to my pipe itself. That arrowhead is actually part of the label. It's not part of the pipe itself. If I edit that label style, there's currently a style set to this label here. And if I edit the current selection, we do have data for that pipe being shown off and as well a pipe flow direction. As I start applying rules to this singular pipe here, you'll see how it behaves. I can select it and apply rules to it, maybe elevate it and change it. I can flatten it out. And the rules are, although they're not being applied to the entire network here, are being applied solely to this one specific pipe. Select right click and apply rules and it keeps being buried. Now you can see how it's coming in here. There's a, an out, there's my invert out onto an invert in for that same 12 inch pipe. If I adjust my pipe so the slope were to change and potentially have this pipe serve as an out, notice how those labels don't change for me. Matter of fact, if I go into it and try to apply the rule again, it corrects it. What it has to do here is taking a look at that 12 inch, how that 12 inch, how it's listing out as an out versus an in. I even color coded these labels inside of the civil software so what you'll notice here, as soon as I switch over the pipe properties to be instead of start to end, when I lay this out inside of the software, I can do an end to start. And as I hit OK, that immediately switches the screen here. Notice that arrowhead shows going up the, the way here. I have now an invert in, which used to be an out. I now have two outs coming from this structure. Notice as I apply the rules here, it changes that pipe to be more in line with the direction you flow. That, that direction has a big play on how the pipe behaves, more specifically the rules here, a cover and slope. It is applying the rule from the beginning to the end there. The big part that I wanna show you here is sometimes clients end up elevating the pipes and trying to make an in and an out and trying to change that pipe directionality and it's not enough. There is a secret though. If you're gonna be more invert related, and have pipes perhaps dynamically change for you here, you can go into pipe properties and adjust the pipe to be by slope. This allows for that graphical control to really work out for me here. Notice how this arrow immediately changes as I start changing the flow. That flow arrow understands in, out, out, in. Labels dynamically work with me. So you're perhaps gonna be able to work with Civil 3D a little bit neater if you change that one property. Thank you for watching. Make sure to visit our website for more Autodesk content related to engineering and design. Have a good day.